everybody nice to see you back and finally i have started making videos again and today we shall discuss on a very important topic which is not discussed it is touched sometimes but it is not discussed on a spiritual level all right so the topic is one of the subscribers asked me recently that why in the universe is there more malefic planets in astrology then benefic planets yes we all know the malefics the natural malefics saturn rahu ketu <laughs> mars and you can take sun also as a mild malefic but ultimately it is also malefic because it gives ego and we have so called the other benefics among which moon and mercury are conditional benefics which means that if they are well placed with other benefics only then they do good or else they also don't do that great <laughs> <laughs> and then we have jupiter and venus who are uh, the so called only direct benefics all right and here i will not go into ascendance uh, like for example functional malefics functional benefics that's a topic of discussion for some other day today's video is not on functional malefics or functional benefics all right so this is about the natural malefics and the natural benefics so if you are new then please subscribe and if you want a consultation then please approach me through my website you will find it in the link given in the description of the video and before i begin as i always say god is there with you all the time just look to him and he will help you <laughs> and he will also help you understand why in the universe is the number of malefics more than the number of benefics all right so generally when we say that there are planets which represent aspects of our life what does it mean it means that there are certain areas of our life which are governed by them and the way they are placed in our chart is the way we behave actually yes and the way we behave actually they are the reflection so generally what it is said is that there are malefic planets what are malefic planets the word used in scriptures is krura which means that there uh, that you can loosely translate it as cruel but it's not exactly that krura means that which does not give you things easily or that which makes you struggle for example saturn mars rahu ketu and sun these five so they are papi and sun and mars are also cruel yes i mean they are agni tatva planets and then saturn and rahu are vayu tatva planets and ketu is also agni tatva so the planets of agni and vayu they give us suffering they give us difficulties why because the agni agni shows control so wherever and whenever we try to control things that is where we suffer why do they say that mars and sun and mars are malefic because they give us a illusion again i am saying they give us a illusion that we are the controllers but lord krishna says in the gita you are not the controller bhoktaram yagya tapasam sarva lokam aheshwaram suridam sarva bhutanam gyatva mam shantim ruchyati that is the shloka where lord krishna says i am the enjoyer controller and proprietor of all that exists sarva lokam aheshwaram all the loka sarva lokas maheshwaram i am the undisputed emperor <laughs> yes i am god ultimately that's what he says suridam sarva bhutana one who understands this gyatva mam shanti mruchati and i am also the most well wishing friend surid surid is very well wishing friend sarva bhutana of everybody of all the hindus christians muslims zoroastrians boys girls married unmarried <laughs> that's what lord krishna says but when we go away from this then the malefics are like wait i will teach you a lesson <laughs> which means that sun and mars will only so call trouble us they say that oh mars is giving mongolic dosh sun is giving ego blah 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 all those stuff but that only happens when we go away from this shloka if we understand this shloka and we act according to that shloka then sun and mars does not trouble us which means that whenever we feel that we are trying to control something for example suppose 
I get this th- uh, thing very much always. Many people tell me, "Oh, that person doesn't want to stay with me. Can you tell me some mantra by which I can catch that person in my life?" <laughs> yes, so that means you are trying to force things. I'm not saying that don't work on your relationship or on your career. I'm not saying that, but when you try to control things, yes, control means as in Hindi they say na mutthi mein rakhna. Which means you want to keep a tight hold. I will not let this go. Then Sun and Mars will act malefic. They will teach us lessons. Yes, they will give us beatings. <laughs> and when they do that, we will we will say, "Oh, look, they are malefics." No, they are not malefics actually. They are only telling us that, "Look, God is the ultimate controller. Do whatever you can do. Don't try to control things. Don't try to control situations." Don't try to force people to stay in your life. Should I repeat? Don't try to force people to stay in your life. This is something big. I am saying. I am not saying that. I mean, <laughs> I hope you understand. And then comes the other category. Why? Why is what? Why is desire basically? Why is what? It is the third house, the seventh house, and the eleventh house. Kama houses. and yes by the way today evening uh, i am shooting another video with uh, anuradha ji it is on swati nakshatra that is also showing by so please watch that video okay so now saturn and rahu they are also malefics why because they will give us suffering when we desire beyond that which we should desire <laughs> yes they rule the 10th house and the 11th house rahu also rules aquarius they say which means that saturn and rahu will only act in a negative way if we cross the boundary which means that if we are married to one person for example but we desire some other person <laughs> yes everything is going on well now marriage but there's that thing lingering inside our head oh that look at that girl she's so amazing oh that man is so handsome whatever it can be but that as in hindi this na that wo kida <laughs> that insect is lurking inside and then what we do we go and message the person we try to meet yes all sorts of nefarious activities we try to do that so if we cross the line then saturn and rahu is there to teach us lessons so that means all the problems of saturn and rahu can be solved if we stay in our limits For example, the Shrimad Bhagavatam says that there are four activities of pillars of sin which we should not indulge. That is meat eating, gambling, intoxication, and illicit sex. So anybody who is indulging in all these four, I don't care who the person is. The person can be anybody. He can be the prime minister or president. You can be a boy or a girl. You may be married or you may be a celibate. You may be a sannyasi. You may be whoever. <laughs> you will suffer if you do this. because you are crossing your limits when you do that and then saturn and rahu is there to teach you yes we will give you the beatings yes so the people keep asking oh what's the cure for saturn what's the cure for rahu what's the cure for sun what's the cure for mars it's very simple actually of course it's easier said than done but that's the theory you have to understand from where the suffering is coming why they are called malefics you have to understand this just by saying oh my saturn dasha is going on the other day somebody told me why you are not making videos on sade sati wait wait that's there on the list but before uh, understanding sade sati we have to understand why at all saturn is a malefic why at all yes so unless we understand that we can never understand what is all the sade sati what are transits what is the dasha of saturn doing and all these things So first, we have to understand the inherent composition from where the origin is happening. Saturn is ruling the tenth house and the eleventh house. Those are the houses of desire. So when we desire beyond that which is desirable, then we <laughs> we have to face the kicks which Saturn gives us. Saturn doesn't kicks us; it is actually Mars which kicks. So it's very simple. One is the Agni, the other is Vayu. So. do not try to dominate others do not try to force things do not try to force people do not try to force situations and don't cross your limits <laughs> if we do this these two things that's it all the problems of the malefics will be solved 
no it's not going to solve today maybe tomorrow or maybe after one year or maybe after 10 years or maybe after 10000 lifetime but one day that problem will be solved yes so what happens when we desire too much then we cheat right what is rahu basically people are so much obsessed oh rahu is doing this rahu is doing that what's Ra- what actually rahu is doing rahu is just telling you that look you are crossing your line don't cross it so when you cross it then what happens suppose you are married and you have started liking some other girl or some other boy then what you do you will do things behind right on the in the background of your spouse and then he or she doesn't come to know that means you are cheating and then next life the same thing happens you get cheated by your spouse now of course i am not saying that you go and cheat your spouse yes go and give her or him the karma of his past life no i'm not saying that i'm saying that whenever somebody is doing something wrong to us we have to always remember that that is a repercussion which is coming from our past lives only so if we do not cross the limit as they say in the rama and Raksh- lakshman rekha <laughs> so unless we cross the lakshman rekha rahu is not going to trouble us i mean why in the universe will rahu trouble us yes so and then take example of saturn what is saturn saturn is ruling the 10th house 10th house is the house of karma and when do we don't do our work when we are as in hindi they say na amod pramod bhoga vilas bhoga vritti i don't know if these are the right words but this is what i remember as of now which means that when we are too much in the mood of enjoying indulging in sinful habits then we don't work anybody who is smoking drinking or indulging in uh illicit sex wrong activities watching pornography visiting prostitutes watching things in the internet in the tv which is fueling his or her sexual carnal desires go and see the performance in workplace now yes i know somebody will write in the comments oh that ceo of that company is a drug addict he's or he's making millions that actress she is a so and so addict how is she so how is that lady so famous well the question is imagine if the la- if that person who is the ceo of a company w- without having that addiction where w- that person would be so recently i saw a post somewhere there was one uh, f- very famous writer i will not take the name <laughs> intelligent people will know about whom i am speaking so that person he wrote in his biography that oh sorry autobiography that oh he was drinking very heavily till the age of 98 or something like and then nearby that time he died and then somebody said oh look if you want to live for 98 years keep drinking that's the secret you fool that's not the secret <laughs> the f- the foolishness is without by drinking he stayed 98 years imagine how much he would have stayed maybe he, he would have crossed vimshottari dasha maybe 120 130 140 years yes so Uh, the moment we uh, go into too much uh, sense enjoyment sense indulgence then we are not focusing on our work then we take the easy way out and that is when sare sati will trouble us should i repeat saturn will then trouble us saturn will only tr- anybody who is troubled by saturn just go and see their lives they always take the easy way out should i repeat always this is like this is the hallmark forget where saturn is in your chart forget the horoscope just see your life if you take the easy way out if you don't do hard work why am i not doing hard work because you are checking facebook in the company right the other day somebody told me that oh i am seeing your the, that person is seeing my youtube videos in his office and i'm like that's not good man <laughs> of course it's good that you are watching my videos i like it but still you should not do it in the office don't do that <laughs> i will get karma man <laughs> you can watch it watch it when you are coming in the train in the bus wherever you are but don't watch it in the office in the office sit and sit and do your work man it is millions of times better not millions it's trillions and billions and infinite times better to go and do your work rather than watching a video on saturn in your office okay saturn is not going to be happy if you keep doing that you go to the uh, shani mandir on saturdays you fast on saturdays you give donation to the 
those people who who are represented by saturn yes the poverty stricken class you go and give them donation there's no problem but when you are in your office you should not do that which you are not supposed to do you should only do the work which your manager has told not even my videos not even any other guru's videos also you are supposed to watch yes when you are having break that time you can watch but when you are in your table be serious be committed do it properly otherwise saturn will still show you that oh look you are just as in here uh, in asmis they say na salevara kubwa i don't know it's like saying beating around the bush so when we are too much obsessed with sexuality porn this that my god we cannot work you see then saturn will trouble us so basically the malefics are only trying to show us that you are crossing your limits and you are trying to control things so don't do that and how do you not do that is very simple of course it's not very simple this is the difficult part it's easier said than done we have to understand that we are not the controllers how do you know that by reading the scriptures you can see how great god is if you read the fifth canto of the shrimad bhagavatam then you will understand how great god is why i'm saying fifth canto because that gives a description of the universal structure so you'll understand oh my god god is great <laughs> he has created the 14 planetary system atala vitala sutala tala tala mahatala my god below this forget the upper ones <laughs> mahaloka swarga loka tapa loka gyana loka my god satya loka and then the so many things are there above that also so the point is we have to understand that we are very tiny and that doesn't mean that we are victims of inferiority complex this is healthy ego the word ego has a very wrong connotation nowadays people say that oh don't have ego don't uh, have any identification that's nonsense that's not correct we should have a healthy ego which means that we should have a identification that i am a servant of god then all the problems are solved then we are following the injunctions of the scriptures very very peacefully we are following our life is very smooth and then our journey is very good without that our mind will always trouble us so the point is we have to become more and more spiritual and then we will realize that we don't need to control things that's number 1 that's the solution for agni and the for vayu desire it's not desire actually it's materialistic desire yes now somebody will say oh that means you are saying we have to go to the forest we should not have materialistic desire no i didn't say that i said do not cross the line if you are married then stay married to that one person don't keep putting your eyes here or there <laughs> don't do that that's the problem you see you don't have to be a celibate and go to the forest like uh, shabri did of course it's great if you can do that but you don't need to do that if you are married then stay with that one person committed that's what you should do if you are a student go and study don't keep watching videos <laughs> don't keep wasting time talking about oh who go, who is having an affair with whom who is who won the cricket match all those unless uh, this useless worthless rubbish garbage of this world if you keep discussing during your work during your job that's it you are not working and then saturn is not happy that means saturn will give you troubles and then you say oh saturn is a bad planet you see rahu is also bad right <laughs> everybody is bad except me right <laughs> the only person good is myself and everybody else is very bad so the video was on why there are more malefics than benefics well the answer is very simple because we have more weakness inside us than good anybody agrees or disagrees which means that we in kali yuga have a default tendency to gravitate towards sin towards wrong things that is why the number of malefics is more because they are simply a reflection of who we are and how to get rid of the tendencies of the malefics that i already said nearby your city wherever you are go and visit uh, a spiritual center a community go and meet your guru there if, if you don't have a guru go and take diksha from a guru then eat vegetarian food do not take part in violence in meat uh, this meat eating don't watch unnecessary things in the internet 
watch only good things you can watch my channel or some other channel of spirituality you can keep watching yes do not associate with those people who are gossiping unnecessarily about private parts of the opposite sex yes who is having an affair with whom unnecessary things do not associate with those people associate with only those people who motivate you who inspire you who support you who tells you that yes you are good you are doing great and you will do better yes that's it <laughs> be good do good things give good inputs to your ears instead of listening to useless bollywood hollywood rubbish songs we can listen to bhajans we can listen to lectures of gurus so many lectures are there these days my god youtube is youtube is flooded so that we can put in our ears and yes every morning we should chant mantras and also read the scriptures like shrimad bhagavatam and the bhagavad gita if you are a muslim watching this then go and read the quran if you are a christian then go and read the bible all right so that is it from my side why there are more malefics than there are more uh, sorry than the number of benefics so, oh we didn't talk of benefics my god benefics will feel bad but anyways this was about malefics not benefics okay until next time wish you good luck bye bye see you